kanji in Tamil. Let's see our ingredients. Whoa. So first we have one cup of Olinda. Urda Olinda. or Olinda. We got a half rice. cup of rice. We got some cashews. And now and we got cumin some. seeds. And now we got some salt. Salt. And curry leaves. Curry leaves. Oil. Alright, let's start cooking. Okay and guys. First we're going to use our pressure cooker and we're going to dry roast our urda. Be very careful when you use a stove or just ask your mom or dad. Yeah. And we're going to be using the uh, urda that has the skin on it still. Okay, now we're gonna set the stove to medium. Okay guys, I'm dry roasting the urda. Okay guys, so now we're just going to roast this until it is a light brown color. Now we will be um, putting the urda and rice and we're going to make a coarse uh, mix using that. So let's add the half cup of rice. Where? Here, it's here. I'll do it. Yeah. There you go. Because you're more closer than to it. And now we're going to be adding the wordle, but just a little hot. So waiting. Be careful. Wait for it to cool down. Yeah, it's really hot. Still. Okay, guys. So now we just transferred the wordle. And put the rice as well. And now we're, we're gonna wait for it to cool down. Yeah, we're gonna wait for it to cool down a little more. And then we will grind it and wait until it's a coarse mix. Now it is coarse and we will be adding it inside the pressure cooker. Okay? Back into the pressure cooker. <laughs> now we will be adding five cups of water. Because the ratio is 1 to 2 to 3, so we're adding 5. In here? 5 cups. Five cups. I think that's good. That's good enough. Okay, here's one cup. Careful. No. You want to add it? Okay. Well, that's really cool. Water now. Yeah, just gonna mix it slightly. Here, mix it. I can mix it. Okay. Be very, very careful. Don't spill it. And you're going to add some salt as this. well. Look at this. To this mixture. Whoa! You like can you mix that a little? Yeah. All right. Look at this. Now we will be closing this pressure cooker up and put, letting this sit for four whistles. Look at this. So, in the meantime, we will be making the seasoning. So for the seasoning, we will be needing some gingerly oil. We're gonna add some. I'm just turning on the stove. And when the oil is hot, you're going to be adding the cumin seeds and curry leaves. Ooh, why is it yellow? The medium. Yeah, we just have to wait for the oil to start. Right now, it's hot. Now we will be adding our cumin seeds. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. It's very, very bubbly. And our curry leaves. Now 
we just added the curry leaves. And now it's popping. And, right. and we're going to be adding our cashews. Are you going to pop them? Oh my gosh. She needs to turn brown, so we're just gonna wait till it does. And meanwhile, the whistle's coming. Yeah, if the whistle kind of opens, it's gonna explode something. <laughs> yeah. Some juice. Juice? So this is ready, we're just going to be letting it cool down and then we will be adding the seasoning in and then it's time for the best part. Testing! Now the pressure has gone, um, as you guys can see it's all ready. Um, you, guys, you guys can also add some hot water to maintain the porridge consistency. I'm going to be doing that. Okay, and I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. Whoa, there's a, where's our porridge? If you want a more water consistency, you can add um, some more water. But for us, we just want it to eat it with the spoon. So we added just a little bit of water. So now I will be adding the seasoning that we already made here. Just add everything. And I'm going to stir it up. Now our Urdal porridge is ready. We will be taste testing it now. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna take a big one. Mmm, mmm. This is a healthy recipe. Yeah, if, if this is a healthy recipe, like you said, and it gives strength to your bones. This recipe is really good, so make sure to try it at home and Bye. add it to your recipe list or cookbook. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this video. Bye. Bye.